themes like very demure, very mindful, and hawk tour. Hawk tour? What? <laughs> Being a boomer is hard in the VTuber uh, industry. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't understand what Santi is saying. Because he, he talks in memes and I'm like, I don't understand this. So this is my effort at trying to understand culture. <laughs> this guy, I think, explains culture. Lessons in meme culture right there, see? And it seems like there's a new word that people are using. Demure mindful. That's a really old word, huh? Demure. That's an old word. Very demure, very mindful trend is what's described as a very mainstream demure. phenomenon, similar to the hawk to a girl from a little while back. Mm -hmm. It's easy to understand, insanely popular, and kind of reminiscent of some of the older trends the internet used to see go viral back in the day. They didn't need to be positioned on 24 layers of irony, so the they just needed to be a little goofy, a little silly, and that's what we've got with very demure, very, very, mindful. very mindful. The original video comes from Jules Lebron, who, who posted a clip about presenting oneself when going into work on the 3rd of August. August. Very demure, very mindful. It wasn't long before very That's where it came from? Very demure, very mindful. Oh, of course it's from a TikTok. It's it's new, it's it's a new meme, Sandy. Get in the times. Are you very demure, very mindful? I'm too old for this meme. <laughs> yeah, me. Also, I'm so old. I'm too old for this meme. Very demure, very mindful. Isn't being demure means like you're... You know. Let me see. How do I explain it? It means you're... I cannot think of the word. There's a specific word I'm thinking of. And I don't know what it is. It's like you're, you know, kind of shy and like proper. Something like that. Let's Google what demure means. So I should, so I stop talking. What is demure meaning? Modest. There we go. That's what I was thinking. It's modest. When you're modest, that means you're demure. <laughs> Being demure means that you are demure. Oh, well, of course, of course. Blast. Very demure, very mindful, was swaddled into the modern vocabulary of the internet, quickly becoming the buzzword of the month. And speaking of easy to adapt to mainstream culture... They said that? The official White House account said that? Very mindful, very demure, that's... <laughs> oh <laughs> can you imagine biden saying very mindful very demure <laughs> considering the student depth of nearly five million americans through various actions very mindful very demure all right all right this trend got so big that the White House referenced it on Instagram. As a result, it's certainly become worth discussing as it hit the heights of political campaigns. Mm -hmm. You can't get much higher than the social media team of the President of the United States quoting a TikTok you've made, so LeBron should feel proud. Many are likening it to the end of the brat trend as espoused by Charlie XCX, as it takes a more laid-back attitude than the party girl antics of mainstream friend. music memes. That being said, so saturated has it become that it started to annoy many- Wait, I know what brat means. Say this right here, I know what that means. <laughs> oh no! Uh, what? You know, we were talking about it last uh, podcast. <laughs> And next year called you a brat. Uh, I'm not a brat. <laughs> Why are you so angry? I'm sorry. Oh my god. Following the classic trajectory of a meme that explodes quickly but doesn't evolve past its original interpretation. Despite the phrase being completely mainstream, know what it, it certainly checks into that definition of brain rot in that those who repeat it are often chronically online. It's just that, in this day and age, being chronically online is no Not longer an activity that freaks and nerds would be accused of participating in. Regular people are very much chronically online with the popularity of apps like TikTok peaking during the COVID years, whereupon many mm -hmm. were forced to stay inside and find connection on social media. 
I mean, I would say I am chronically online because I'm online all, most of the time. But at the same time, my work is online. I need internet to to work. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm online a lot of times, but at the same time, I don't understand all these memes. I, I cannot participate in this meme culture thing. Because I'm like, oh, God. It also is because I'm I'm kind of old. I'm old, too old for this, so I don't understand it. <laughs> Explaining the 2020 fake really is a thing that everyone who lived through the lockdown has because we all same simultaneously experience isolation for a period of time. Dude, I don't understand this. Why you putting so much text in a TikTok video? Do people actually read this text when they watch a TikTok video? Oh my god. <sighs> Sit in our homes chronically online for a year, which in turn made us all have a slower perception of time passing. So now life before COVID seems to be closer in time rather than further because we're all stuck in the mindset of time passing slowly due to the isolation period. That's a lot of words to explain that part at the end i think all this word just means that the 2020 effect is that you feel like time passes slowly because of the isolation period all these words in between here and here are not necessary but okay while social media and meme culture certainly <laughs> exploded during the 2010s, <laughs> it has definitely entrenched itself into the masses as demonstrated by the constant references to mainstream memes like no, well, Very Demure, Very, very Mindful, three and that. Hawk yeah. Tour. In short, Very Demure, Hawk Very Tour? Mindful has become a properly what big mainstream meme not only repeated by the White House social media team, but also by regular people who have become entrenched as chronically online brain rot enthusiasts. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. What did he say, Hoktor? What the fuck is that? Three memes like very demure, very mindful, and Hawk Tour. Hawk Tour? What? <laughs> Please don't ask. <laughs> Lord help me. Do you know what it is? What is what is Hawk Tour? What does it mean? <laughs> I don't understand. Explain yourself. Hawk Tour? <laughs> What is Hawk Tua? <laughs> spitting. <laughs> it sounds like the sound of spitting. Hawk Tua. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell that word. Full and Hawk Tua. In short, Hawk Tua. Hawk Tua. Oh, tour has got to be one of the most satisfying ways of showing how to oh, spit I've ever seen. It comes from an oh, interview tour. of a woman who, when asked the move in bed that makes man go crazy, she says, Oh, you gotta give him that hawk too and spit on that thing. <laughs> this interview was conducted by Tim. I mean, it is a funny clip. <laughs> hawk tour. That's a funny clip. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god. And DTV on the 11th of June. <laughs> and the two guys oh have made god. it their career to interview young women oh on a yeah, night out, yeah, yeah. clearly looking for people to give outrageous reactions. That being said, this can get a little exploitative given these girls are often pretty drunk and it's not clear if they'd say the same thing sober, but I'm yeah, assuming they're signing some kind of release form that's at kinda, this stage. You know. Due to the spread of this meme, a hell of a lot of effort was put into finding the identity of this girl and eventually a Facebook post by Fathead Threads would reveal who she is. In an image promoting Hawk Tour, you can see that she is signing what her the name hell as although since course. then she appears to have gone radio silent, which is fair enough. Not everyone wants the insane levels of fame that come with being turned into a meme, even though this one is essentially harmlessly goofy. The clip is fine, it's the people's reaction that's uh, annoying, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the thing about memes, right? When it gets spread so much, and then when people use it over and over again, that's what it is. And also, it's kind of cringe that there's um, there's merge of it. Authorized hats. She will be receiving a portion of the profits from sales. All right. 
Alright. Hopefully, she manages to earn a little bit of cash through her promotion with Fathead Threads. Yeah, as I hope becoming she got a meme is notoriously difficult to capitalize on unless you have proper business or social media savvy. At any rate, at this stage, you may be wondering but with everything going on in the world, why is a clip of a girl explaining how to spit going viral? Well, videos about people just saying things in a funny way used to be one of early meme culture's most popular <laughs> it was genres. Just funny. The, clip was the just funny. boom girl from Australia is a great example of this, as her interview that. in 2009, whereupon she says the words, and then they pulled out a gun and just went, boom. Boom. <laughs> That's a good one. Boom. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's how you would say it out loud, right? If you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, load it. You gotta, a made-up story about two people fighting and shooting led to a massive meme at the time, complete with music remixes. The fact that Hoktua has taken exactly the same path is by design on behalf of Tim and D TV, who likely uploaded the part of the interview that was the most exciting in the hopes that it would make them famous too. In short, Hoktua has become this uncontrollable monster of a soundbite that comes from a very funny girl on a night out, and yet her radio silence on social media at this stage, except for one promotion with Fathead Threads, perhaps shows a reluctance to embrace this fame. I mean, what meme would you guys would... like me to give a lesson in next? Who would wanna stay in like the internet fame? It's kinda strange, you know? She, she doesn't really want that that thing that meme attached to her for that long although i guess you can't really erase that from the internet because it's everywhere imagine getting known for being the hot tour girl she really doesn't want to do that if you become famous because of a meme or like because of a clip that someone got of you and you become famous from it would you would you embrace that that's the thing. Like your actual face. You know, your IRL face become famous, become a meme eventually. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of kind of weird. I would become a hermit. Yeah. I don't I I wouldn't mind if uh, like a clip of me would be famous if the VTuber version. It, me the VTuber, sure. But if like the IRL me and there's a clip out there and it's become a meme, nah, I am I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna log off, man. I'm logging off the internet. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend to be somebody else <laughs> forever. <laughs> Especially if it's like a cringe uh, clip. Nah. Let me know in the comments below. I remember like and subscribe. Yeah, 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 dude, that's interesting. This is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song.